So we've got a question about Paula Ratcliffe. Paula Ratcliffe, let me get this right. 215 marathoner. I mean, uh, 215. The fastest marathon ever fucking ran in human history for men or women. If they calibrate it out, it's a sub two hour marathon. If you're talking about comparison male female, it's a sub two hour marathon if she was a bloke. 215. Someone says, how did Paula Radcliffe run 215 without EPO? I don't fucking know. I don't know. I'm not saying she's on the gear. I'm just saying, how the fuck do you beat uh, Shubakova, who's the second fastest marathon ever, and she's currently serving a two-year doping ban? And I'll tell you what the time was. I think 2.18.20, and Paula Radcliffe's 2.15. Three fucking minutes. You're beating people who are having doping bans. You're beating people who are taking so much drugs they're actually testing positive. Now the Russians have got some fucking pretty good doctors over there. So if, if Shubakov has taken that much gear that she's getting pinked, she's taken that much fucking drugs. Have you ever done drugs? You probably fucking haven't if you're saying you can run that fast natty. You've probably got no experience at all. Oh, one time I had a beer at a birthday party. Oh, I smoked on someone's cigarette once. <laughs> oh, mate. If Shubakova is getting busted and running 218, which is the second fastest marathon ever for a woman, and Paula Ratcliffe ran a 215, smashed Shubakova's time by three fucking minutes. Do you know how much three minutes is in a marathon? Three minutes is fucking huge. That's a kilometre almost at that pace. That's almost a fucking kilometre. That's out of sight. Paula Ratcliffe is beating the dopers out of sight. Her record's 12 years old, 10 years old. What the hell? This, this, this is fucking insane. So she's beating Rep 2's being pinged for EPO, Shuba Kovas. She's beating all these people getting busted for blood doping, EPO, growth hormone, everything. How the fuck did Paula Ratcliffe run that fast? Only Paula Ratcliffe knows and her coaches and team doctor or whatever. But uh, that's an insanely fast time. So in my opinion, I don't believe it. I don't fucking believe it for one bit. But that's just my opinion. What's your opinion? How the fuck did Paula Ratcliffe beat the people on EPO with some of the best doctors in the business? How did she do it? How the fuck did she do it?